Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with something unique in studio today. This is NVIDIA's Jetson TX2 development kit. And what's interesting about this, it's a dev kit, a circuit board, associated items, and software that go with it that's intended for developers in embedded applications for AI, artificial intelligence, in applications like robotics, drones, autonomous vehicles, things like that. It's a whole processing platform for those applications. What's interesting about this, there was a Jetson TX1 before it, and Jetson TX1 was powered by NVIDIA's Tegra X1 processor. And if you recall, that's the same processor that powers NVIDIA's Shield set-top streamer slash gaming device, as well as the Shield gaming tablet. And Tegra X1 is comprised of some custom NVIDIA tuned ARM cores as well as NVIDIA graphics processing and NVIDIA Maxwell GPU on board. This is Jetson TX2 based on, you guessed it, Tegra X2. So now we've got custom ARM cores, we've got custom in integrated NVIDIA Pascal graphics on board. So we're going to unbox this, give you a little show and tell and have a little fun with it. So let's get it unboxed here and uh, show you what it's all about. First, literature. You don't get a lot of literature with a dev kit. The real meat and potatoes for information on what we're working with here, if you were to develop with this kit, uh, would be online. There's a ton of uh, documentation NVIDIA has, full schematics, all that good stuff. But you get a basic uh, layout of the board here, which is nice, showing you all the different connectors. We'll go through those in a little bit, as well as specs of the system, which we will also cover in a little bit. But NVIDIA's Pascal GPU with 256 CUDA cores, 64-bit NVIDIA Denver and ARM Cortex A57 CPU cores. So you've got dual 64-bit Denver CPUs on board. Uh, as well as uh, four quad-core complex of ARM Cortex A57 off-the-shelf cores in the NVIDIA Tegra X2 processor. 8 gig of RAM, 32 gig of, e, uh, excuse me, of eMMC uh, flash storage, wireless LAN with Bluetooth and uh, gigabit Ethernet, uh, 802.11 AC wireless specifically. But let's, um, let's get her out of the static bag here. And there is our NVIDIA Tegra X2, or Jetson TX2, excuse me, development board based on the Tegra X2 processor. So, put that aside and see what else we got in here. Yes, as expected, we have Lay power brick, pretty good size power brick. We can step through specs some more on how much power consumption or what sort of power consumption the, the board, the platform comprises. But yes, you've got your basic three conductor power cable and AC adapter brick there. Not too huge, but definitely stout enough. And various, what looks like various cables and connectors. So, let's take them out. Ah, actually, this is interesting. This is, these are Wi-Fi antennas, which would screw on the back of the board. If we can get them out of the pack here. Yeah, there you go. Little Wi-Fi paddle antennas that uh, you'd screw in the back of the board and uh, these little jobbies would uh, get your Wi-Fi signal. Looks like some very nice antennas actually. Um, probably do a good job of pulling in some serious range for the Jetson TX2. And yes, you've got a micro USB to USB cable, nothing too exotic there. Let's get that out of the pack anyways, just to say we did it. Okay, so yeah, there you go. USB, micro USB. And uh, it's even got a little uh, Shield game controller icon on there. This looks like the exact cable that uh, comes with a Shield device, handheld device. 
And finally, this little cable here is micro USB to standard USB female plug-in adapter. So, there you go. That's what's in the dev kit. And uh, let's take a little walk around the board next. All right, so here's the main event. This is the Jetson TX2 development board. As you can see, lots of connectors on this sucker. They've got this thing opened up as much as they can. Lots of different connectors so that you can poke and prod at that processor, get access to it, talk to it, whatever you need to do for whatever application you need to develop for. That makes sense. Um, as you can see on top here, this is the heat sink and fan assembly for the main processor which resides underneath it. Maybe if we're daring, we'll uh, pull that apart later. But let's take you in a little bit tighter and give you a close look here. Yes. Here we go. NVIDIA Jetson TX2. Good stuff. Let's take you back out and do a little walk around of the I.O. that we've got here. So, looking at this side here, this is actually a power jack. This is where you would hook up those Wi-Fi antennas, screw them on there. Uh, those are two little leads for that. And what looks like micro USB, USB 3, HDMI, full-size SD card reader, gigabit ethernet. Going around the other edge here, lots of different stuff. We've actually got a buy four PCI Express edge connector right there. So not an edge connector, but a slot connector. And uh, a SATA socket connector for plugging in a uh, SATA data and power cable. Spin around the other side here and you are looking at JTAG connector. That's actually a test port, a special type of test port, JTAG. And then various buttons for things like power, reset, all that good stuff. And lots of other connectors here. General purpose I.O. connector over here. I mean, just too many to count. A couple of other interesting things here. This is actually right there, a camera module. And it's um, mounted in here already. And you've got another site. There's a special connector, display connector right here for another one. Um, but that's a camera module and there's a little camera right there. It's got a little piece of protective tape which I'll keep on there. Um, but that's a, that's a camera for getting vision analysis into this thing because obviously a lot of applications for this will take machine vision uh, so that the Jetson TX2 can, can see its environment. That makes sense. And then over here you've got an M2E connector, a special type of M2 um, connector, uh, not the kind of connector you would use for things like an NVMe um, drive, a storage device. But um, at any rate, that, uh, that's kind of it. It's actually mounted nicely on this plastic little board here with rubber feet that give you a nice padded surface and, you know, set it up nice and sturdy and skid free on your test bench. So that's it. It's a, it's a pretty tight, compact little board, I tell you. And as you can see here, you know, with Wi-Fi, USB, HDMI, and a card reader and gigabit ethernet, you've got full connectivity, full display output, all integrated onto the SOC or connected to the SOC that has those onboard elements. Um, although obviously the Wi-Fi radio is, is a discrete uh, part. But interesting stuff. Let's, uh, let's see if we can take a look under the hood of that heat sink. So this was not at all what we expected. First, you've got torque screws here, but that's no big deal. You get a Torx bit, loosen them up at all four corners of the heat sink, and then you can pull it off and you will find out, you get a handle on this here, screw. You will find out that this is actually an entire module. So that is the NVIDIA Tegra X2 or Jetson TX2 processing module. Really the Jetson TX2 processing module. On board is the Tegra X2 processor. 8 gigs of LPDDR4 memory. Um, there's also an 802.11 AC Wi-Fi radio on here. You can see the 
the leads right there. And then this is your, your power connector here. Um, but it all talks over this really intricate, tons of pins, mezzanine style connector. All integrated into the heat sink, sandwiched in. You can see the PCB there. And so we're not gonna rip this down anymore. We're gonna stop right here because you know, we don't want to hurt this thing and it looks like a fairly intricate setup. Um, there's screws on this side. We could pull those screws and pull this whole assembly apart. But uh, I, don't, I don't think we want to go there today. So we're going to leave that as is and we'll see if we can't power it up real quick for you. But this is the next generation Tegra X2 processor. That's what's significant about this. Uh, this is what's coming from NVIDIA and what could eventually at some point, we don't know, we don't have confirmation either way from NVIDIA, what could eventually at some point power a consumer electronic device, but definitely, you know, like a new shield, but definitely will be uh, powering embedded applications uh, that NVIDIA's developer partners, you know, build great things with. All right, so we reassembled our NVIDIA Jetson TX2 processing module back onto the board. And uh, we have it all set up here. Let's go ahead and plug in a few things. We've got a USB hub that we will plug in. It gives us expansion to plug in a wireless USB mouse as well as a USB keyboard into that one USB 3 port. And this is our HDMI output cable, which we will plug in and connect to our monitor. And of course, we've got our little Wi-Fi rabbit ear screwed in. The power plug is plugged in now as well. And let's take it out for you so you can get a look at the setup. So here we are, kind of the moment of truth, I guess. So we're attached to our monitor here. We've got our power brick back here plugged in. Again, that USB hub, just to give us a little extra fan out on the USB connections. Wireless dongle here for our mouse and our keyboard. And uh, let's just uh, hit the power button, shall we? So one of the things we noticed right away is that the power is on, but the fan isn't spinning. And actually, I believe it's because we're in low power mode right now. We're not doing anything strenuous. And so it's passively cooled. And we are getting some indication that Linux is booting. We should note that right now, this dev kit only supports NVIDIA Ubuntu Linux a setup for the Jetson Jetpack software package. And there you go. There is an Ubuntu desktop. So let's take you in tight here and show you what's going on finally under the hood with our Ubuntu installation. As you can see, we're on the Ubuntu desktop now and Nvidia has pre-flashed this system and installed the Ubuntu 16.04 LTS operating system and uh, we've got 7.7 .7 gigs of RAM still available to the OS. Processor is identified as an ARM V8 processor Rev3 V8L by four. That is the quad core ARM Cortex A57 CPU complex that is on the NVIDIA Tegra X2 processor. And also on board are again, those dual Denver two cores, which are custom ARM implementations by NVIDIA. And uh, again, that's a Denver 2. There's a, a dual core complex there. So six CPU cores total, as well as GP10B NVGPU integrated graphics. Again, that's a 256 core Pascal GPU. So that's one of the main differences between Tegra X1 and Tegra X2, which is powering this system right now. Uh, you go from a 256 core Maxwell uh, graphics processor complex on Tegra X1 to a 256 core Pascal NVIDIA GPU on board the Tegra X2. So we're gonna kick the tires a lot more in the weeks ahead with this system and try and determine performance levels a little bit with it and just get to know it a little bit better. So make sure you stop by hothardware.com for more details. I'm Dave Altavilla and thanks again for checking it out.